hi. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> send help. Why do you always ask for people to send help? Stop it. Because <laughs> Craig, and we were like, I'm like, okay, let's let's record. And he's like, yeah, we should just get into it. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I have to interact with this guy. <laughs> Dude, it sounded like you had straight up like back pains caused by constipation. It was just, I'm like, oh, oh God, no, I've I don't want to. I, I don't want to hear that. Like, I've never heard of back pains from constipation. It, it happens in old people sometimes. Uh, okay, I will take your word for it. It was whatever. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Hi. Uh, what What are we doing? I said, we're talking about a whole girl. Yeah, that's the first time you mentioned it. Yeah, and? <laughs> that's what... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I assume people can read a title. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, autoplay feature. God damn it. <laughs> so... Let's start off with ye all yay or nay. Um, yeah. I'd say watch it. Uh, um, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, okay, okay. I'm like, I played second. you like a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> I had you oh. thinking that I hated the show, didn't you? At, at least, maybe not hated it, but were we like slightly annoyed by it. Oh, I was. Because it's it's an annoying show. Oh, it's it's incredibly annoying. Like just it so the whole premise of the show is just two people, childhood friends. Um Wait, one of them Hold on, I got to specify not I I okay, quote unquote friends. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're going to have to say They've been na- they've been neighbors. Oh, she, he does not like her at all. <laughs> not in the least. Yeah, there's, um, the main chick is, uh, Yoshiko. Um, and then the main dude is, uh, uh, uh Akuru. Yep. Or, yeah, and, um, they just like to call him, uh, Akun. Okay. And, like, oh my yeah. god, like, he... Does not like her. <laughs> that is an understatement. He hates her ever since they were children. Because Yoshiko is a fucking idiot. I'm I'm gonna say right now, Akuru is the epitome of feminism. Equal rights. Equal rights. If you are this stupid, you are getting punched in the face, and I don't care what you identify as. Oh, he constantly uppercuts her, and it's beautiful. Oh, he uppercuts her. So it looks so painful. He he destroys Ryuchi. <laughs> like these these fists are gender neutral to him. Oh, that's so glorious. Like he's he is infinitely done with stupidity so the whole the whole thing is like he he's a good per- like he's a good student he's a good person like he just kind of has a little bit of a scary face but people tend to stay away from him because he's associated with yoshiko who is like i said a fucking idiot yes and she like when i first like read like the summary of the show i was just like oh she's just gonna be dumb whatever all like it's just gonna be like her being just like being embarrassed about it no she's the annoying kind of stupid she is dumb and dumber stupid like worse like at least dumb and dumber are is like you don't get annoyed with them. Uh, uh, I, I, I said dumb and dumber is like one person. Like both of their stupidity combines. Oh yeah, she's absolutely retarded. Like somehow she constantly gets zeros on tests, multiple choice tests. Constantly. Statistically, that's 
just impossible. <laughs> so, yeah, no, she's she's a statistical anomaly. Something that stupid shouldn't be able to breathe. Yes, and like, and then like very early in the show, you get the third the third friend introduced, who, shocking, is my favorite. <laughs> Sayaka. Shocking. I loved her. She was so cute. I felt so bad for her. <laughs> you didn't feel bad for her? Oh, I felt so bad for her throughout this entire show. Oh, it's... It's so bad. And another one I felt bad for was the teacher. Oh. I did <laughs> not feel bad for the teacher when the teacher was, like, oh my holding God. the crap out of us. I just because she has to deal with Yoshiko. Oh man! And then Yoshiko somehow twists the logic on the teacher to make the teacher freak out and like start questioning her life. Because oh, oh like the whole so love bad. thing, and then she just I love how she turns to Kuru and just is just like teach me love. Yeah, I... the teacher does. So just has an existential crisis right in front of counseling. And he's just like, students. you're 28 years old and my teacher. She's like, you don't like older women? I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Wait, wait. So, <clears throat> so as you guys can tell, it's a comedy. Um, oh, it's, it, yes. Just, god damn it. But, I don't know. It, it's one of those things that, like, I'm typically not a huge fan of dumb comedies, but, like, for some reason, this one just, like, just, like, hit the mark for me. Yes, it is very dumb comedy, but there's nothing wrong with that. Like, oh my... I, I felt like I should be ashamed at laughing at it, but I wasn't. Can we talk about the real MVP character of this entire show? Alright, who do you think the MVP is? dog yes 100 percent. oh i i totally agree he's not the do like dog yes the like dog yoshiko gets a dog named and she just calls him dog yep because and, like that's that is the naming convention of stupid he is the most intelligent character in the show a dog um... Okay. Akuru, I'd say Akuru and Dog are tied for the most intelligent. Dog uh, is, is Dog is much more uh, he's socially more acceptable. Yes, he's more like socially smart. While Akuru is more book smart. Yes, but like, my God, that the dog is awesome. His day, his <laughs> let's talk about his day like the day he gets out of the house when they're at school oh. he ends up he finds he's wandering around he finds a flower to take to somebody he, he another dog he has a, to um yeah, just... to sayaka's dog who he has a crush on and on his way there he saves a kid who's drowning in a river he oh he does something else i want to say stops a bank robbery I thought that was the last thing he did. Oh, maybe. I, th I thought he did something else, but yes, he, he stops a bank robbery and gives the flower that he picked to, like, a little girl crying so she, like, is happy. And there then, was something uh, else that he did. I can't remember what it was, though. I can't either. Like, Saved a kid from drowning, and then he goes and... Uh, I can't remember. It was... Yeah. It, this show's a mess. Oh, it is a hot mess. It is it is just a hot, janky mess, and it oh. is all the more better for it. Let's talk about how bad of a brother Akuru is to his younger sister. I mean, Akuru babies his sister. Oh, he tries to, but he does it so poorly, it's amazing. Well, that's because he can't stay... He's at ends with himself when it comes to his sister, because he can't... Like, he is she, so he, opposed to be to people being stupid and she is she is like she's she's like a less annoying yoshiko well here's the thing like at least she tries she does she tries so hard 
And it's for nothing. And it's for nothing. She's, she's so bad at everything. I feel so bad for her. She's just fucked every step of the way. Like, and like for her birthday, I think it was, her like brother Akuru gives her like a book saying like, Oh, being able to live without getting a job. Yeah! Oh my god, where he's not like... And then she just don't. locks himself in the room, he's just like, well, he's like, did, like, what What do you want for your birthday then? A different brother. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> he just, just like, so like, oh much. my god. Oh my gosh, we haven't even mentioned Fuki. No, we haven't. The stalker. Oh, and she's just wonderfully creepy. Oh my god, it's amazing. Like, the whole the whole thing is like, basically Yoshiko is being an idiot and whatever in the morning, and like, Fuki is the president of the disciplinary committee. Yes. No, the public morals. The public morals, yeah, whatever. It doesn't yes. matter. Yes. That, that, there's, there's a difference. Um... And, like, they're doing, like, a search when she's in, like, they're doing, like, a possession search and stuff for contraband. And, um... Yoshiko... Yeah, Yoshiko ends up... Is being... Yeah. Being a gigantic idiot and, like, basically, like... Brings contraband. Starts groping her. Oh, no, No, she she does bring contraband. Um, and uh, Akuru, like, pulls it away from her and... Uh, he's found with it because he tried to stop her from bringing it into the school. And... Because it was a magazine that I think Yoshiko put her face over all of the women. Yes. And then, um, okay, so this this gets into, this is the major, major triangle the entire show. Which, oh, it's great. <laughs> which is Fuki, who is completely 100% after Akuru. Because, real quickly, because during that search, Yoshiko starts, like, going after Fuki and, like, starts, like, groping her and stuff because, like, Fuki has, like, a larger chest. And Akuru comes in and just fucking decks Yoshiko away and then helps her up, like, asking Fuki, like, oh, are you okay and stuff? And, like, she gets smitten by him. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those, like, uh-oh. Nice she's, shining armor. She's She's got a hots for Papa Bear. Like... And she doesn't know how to properly express it. And by not knowing how to properly express it, she stalks him. Anyway. Oh, yeah. And then we have Yoshiko, who's also after Akuru, but mainly because she's stupid... The uh the 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 major reason for it is because of her mom. Oh, her mom is fantastic. Who would go after a Kuru if she could? Oh my god! Like when it's first introduced, like it just seems like the mom is super concerned about like her daughter being stupid, and she's just like, "Thank you, Akuru, for looking after her." And I... it's just like, I really wish you'd marry into this family into full blown like. This, like, any other girl is just like, he is ours. And it's just like, it's such, it's such like a 180 from her initial introduction. I was just like, what the fuck? Can, can we get into one of my favorite scenes from the entire show? When they want Sayaka to prove that she's just trying to be a friend? No. That one made me laugh way too hard. The panty fight. Oh, what was that? Mom, the mom comes out. Um, is yes, after yes, Fuki. yes, yes, yes. I, yes, yes, yes. I remember. And that. they're stealing each other's panties while they're just standing there. It's that like they're they yes they like take. It's so weird. I feel <laughs> I've, another time. I feel so bad for Ruri. Oh my god! It's that. That ep- or um that little segment is done so comedically well because you oh, don't you don't see anything you just see their reactions to things happening out of sight. Right. Like 
it's it's so well done and i just i love the show so much specifically if like if it was just that scene i would have been so happy because it's so ridiculous and then just at the very end they walk like the two <laughs> yoshiko's mom and fuki just like walk away from each other like with mutual respect like we'll settle this another day oh Ruri's just standing there like what the hell just happened no, i'm no, scared no she's standing there what the hell happened why is it breezy <laughs> like that yes. and then because... she gets she gets home and then she's just like what the hell happened where the hell did my babies go because Fuki stole her panties so that she had <laughs> panties on when she did like, the panty check. Oh my god. Oh, it was so good. It was so weird. <laughs> there was a lot of very messed up funny things. Like, I, I, the, the one I was talking about was when um Sayaka first, like, Yoshiko's mom first meet, like, first meets Sayaka... And, like, she's super protective. Oh, yeah. And, and then, like, they wanted her to prove her... What kind of panties do you have on? Yes, because we have to prove how pure and innocent you are. If you have some of the dollar store, if you picked up something to show off, to steal... Yes. To, to quote-unquote, steal a coup from... Because she, from... Seemed, she, seemed, she seemed too pure. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, we can't and, trust like, this. And, like, just the whole, like... When when uh, Sayaka just had enough of them like pestering her and like forcing, she's like, "Fine." She like Maybe lifts she... up her shirt. You don't see, it, and it's just like a giant gleam of light, like it's some like she holy thing went that they uncovered. With it. That was the funniest thing. Was like Sayaka I've... just that's that's the reason why I feel so bad for her. They just keep pushing her and pushing her in these situations until she's just like, "Fuck it." fine <laughs> she made me laugh like those moments were so funny because you don't expect a character like that to be pushed beyond that boundary yeah and not only does she get pushed beyond that boundary she's okay with it yeah she's like I oh i guess still... this is normal she stays friends with them <laughs> It's just like, like that's that's where like, again, that's where I think rea reaction comedy succeeds is with these like crazy situations, and just just the straight faces and everything going back to normal when that's just like straight up assault. Like, like no, yeah, should... that do that doesn't exist in anime. But that's okay, that's what I'm saying. Like that's, that's where reaction comedy works is because like like you have the reaction but things go back to normal, which makes it even more jarring. Yeah. And let's not forget about the little side stuff with like Yoshiko and the kids. Oh my god. Where it's like Those a group of two great. two boys and a girl the, and like the, the girl basically like is kind of looking to Yoshiko as like a role model she's... and the two boys are just like no don't be like her. She's just so stupid. Don't you dare be that stupid. We must protect our friend from the stupid lady. I don't even think the girl saw her as that much of a role model. It's just that she wasn't all that there together to begin with. And she and uh, Yoshiko just kind of vibed. But like... The, the boys were like, no, we gotta stop this. Like, we're, we're not letting her have any influence on our friend. Yeah. Yeah. The, the series was something or other. <laughs> it was like a car crash. Like, you just can't look away from it. Y yeah. It's like... Yeah, it's that that's a good way of wording it. <laughs> but I okay, so there are there are a couple sexual themes, the panty snatching, the um but it's a lot less than some of the other comedies that are in the same like vein because it's not it's not done 
with it like fully visible. It's not done fully visible, but it's one of those things that I think I, we we, we kind of should specify because we've talked about things like um, SYD. We've talked about things like um, a world in which dirty jokes. Yes. Which which are also really funny, but like, I think this sits like almost squarely between the. Uh, like not even between more towards Nietzsche Joe than most yes, shows. It's, it's it's clean. Like the jokes are clean, but if you were to like explain it to people, they think that it's like kind of dirty and obscene unless they watched it. Yeah. Like the comedy comes from the stupidity and not the <laughs> sexual themes underlying them. Exactly. Like Yeah, it's just how dumb this show is you know oh my god i know what this show reminds me of i've been like racking my brain to be like this is like like just to to put that to put the pieces together on what it reminded me of right uh, oh good lord it reminds me of the three fucking stooges <laughs> really with Mo beating the crap out of Curly and Larry. Yeah, but like, but like, who... like it's it's just like the stupidity on top of physical humor. Yes, I, I can see that. Like that's that's why I'm like I was missing a piece because like the stupidity and physical humor plus, um, like a want-to-be rom-com from Japan. Because, yeah. Because there's... In, in typical rom-coms, you don't have the physicality of it, and there is a lot of physicality in this show. Oh, yeah, a lot of people just getting beaten the fuck out of each other. But that's that's why I think that, like, that was kind of, like, the missing, the missing piece was, like... Like, it doesn't sound very funny. Like, it sounds like a more intellectual comedy, like like SYD was, where you're, where you're thinking about the jokes, you're thinking about how these interact with things, and it's way more physical than that. Like, it's way more tangible. Yes. But I, I just realized, we also forgot to talk about one thing. Yoshiko's obsession with bananas. I mean, the picture I have, uh, she's reaching for a banana, and there's bananas in the background. <laughs> of course there is. I mean, to be fair, like, that's... I. It's a big part of her personality, and, like... A, a big... They, they, I, her personality. <laughs> yes. They met, like... Uh, uh, Akuru mentions it, like, really early. I think it was to the mom or whatever, where she's just like, well, won't you consider marrying into our family or whatever... And he's just like, I would never marry a monkey. Okay. Like, he flat out refers, like, he views her as, like, the intelligence and the personality of a monkey. Yoshiko has, like, the backstory of the banana and why she likes Akuru is so well done. <laughs> the fact that he just gave her a banana that she's never had before. She's she never had bananas before. Akuru, being a little kid, goes, Here, have a banana. Stop touching my stuff, you idiot. And she's like Leave me alone. Just straight up like attacked like sucks onto him like a starfish. Just <laughs> I still love when the, like the final episode was like the backstory of how they met and stuff. And just like one of the first times he was just like He's like, yeah, I, I'll never have any interactions with her. And she's just like, she's like in his room, like, hi. He's like, how did you get here? I jumped from the window. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just jumping in windows. And that's like a reoccurring thing, because like in an earlier episode, they tried breaking into his room at night. And like he had a like trap set up. It was just like a thing of spikes that when the door would be open would just fall on them. <laughs> oh my god. When, uh... When, uh, what was it? When Fuki and Yoshino and Sakaya all break into his apartment. 
that's what I was talking about. The, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> I, he was so done at that point, like, like. The and then Sa Sayaka actually like loses her shit and just like yells at everybody. <laughs> like, like, how does the how does the committee member for uh? For morals, Moral. I end know. Up, end up even, in his bed. They even pointed out, and like her thought process is just like, <laughs> I'm making sure that like bad things don't happen, or like he's keeping up with more like his morals and stuff. It's like, so you break into his room, <laughs> and they bring it up multiple times in shows after that too. Which oh is... yeah, and then there's just the part on the roof where Sayaka's talking with her. And it's just like, you know he views you as, like, really creepy and a stalker. Oh, yeah. When, okay. And she's just like, oh, that's not true. You're the, just messing. And he, she's just like, uh, he's, uh, she's like, oh, my God, you're serious. There's there's a couple. Okay, so, like, another funny thing about the show um, is that there are grounding moments, right? Specifically given by Sayaka. Because Sayaka, oh, she is... She is the most, like, normal-minded person, and that's why I love her. She's the most normal person. <laughs> but but there's actually moments where she goes up and goes like, Do you question yourself? Why are you doing this? How does, how does this impact you or, like, impact him or whatever? And... Gotta view things in a different perspective, because what you're doing is wrong. And, but the thing is, is those those moments added to the comedy because it was more. It was less that there were it was more highlighting the delusion than it was glorifying it. Right. Yes. Where. Where normally, where you'd see, like, um, Fuki be more along the lines of aggressive or assertive, like, she gets it, like, she, like, there's a moment of clarity, and she kind she understands where things are going, and is, like, super distraught about it, and then yeah. she backs off on it, she's all like, no, 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 it's fine, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka didn't want to, like, hurt her emotionally like that, and she's just like... I can't do this. <laughs> and like, I'm just like, no, you have to. <laughs> you have to hurt somebody. Please hurt somebody. Like, I think Sayaka even asked her, like, have you told him how you felt? And she's just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think that's part of the thing too. Like you're rooting for people to do things against their character. Yes. Like, you're like, please, a guru, just stop trying to help your sister. It's not working. Stop trying to be a good big brother. That's how you can be a good big brother. Stop, help her stop, study. Yeah, stop trying to cater to her stupidity, please. Yeah. And then, why don't you help her study instead of just letting her do it on her own? S Sayaka is like one of those things where it's just all like, please, please, just hurt somebody's feelings. I need you to put this down. Like, <laughs> just say the thing that we all are thinking because you're thinking it. Like, I always viewed Sayaka as, like, like the actual person watching the series. Yeah, where pretty much. It's just, like, she's, you're, she's there. She doesn't really impact the story at all. She's just kind of, like, a viewing party that you just wish would, that, like, actually thinks the things you are. That you're just like, please say this. Nozomi, please call out. Uh, like, please call out this girl for being so stupid. Like, and stop hanging out with them. Stop, please. Stop enjoying spending time with her. You're just like, and you realize that all of these are so contradictory to what their characters are, but oh, you yeah. can't help it. Like, you just, you feel like you have to, like, interject and be like, no, stop. <laughs> 
Yeah. But it's, it's not infuriating. Oh, no, no, there's, no. no. There's, it's, it's just like, oh, there's, my God. Like, like, there's been a lot of times where you're like, this person is so whatever that it's annoying. Like, these people have glimpses of them doing the right thing. They just don't follow through with it, which is something that drives me mad and happens to everybody. Like, just follow through with it. Yeah, I will say, man, Yoshiko got annoying for me very quickly. Yes, yes, she did. <laughs> oh, I think that was the point, and that was the reason. Oh, yeah. I actually, I agree with making her very annoying straight from the gecko. Specifically, oh, she's supposed to be. Well, no, I mean, I, she's supposed to be, but specifically because that detaches me and makes Akuru or uh, Akuru. You. Re- you, you you yeah. root for him more. You root for him more. Like, you don't see his actions as being as bad because the person has no brain cells to kill with that uppercut. <laughs> you can't mess the brain up more. Nope. Brain damage would help at this point. Because if it was just that she was, like, really stupid I... and he hit her, like, no. Like, that would have been... That that wouldn't have been cool, but like That's a, that would be uncalled for. That or she was like unfucking believably annoying, but she wasn't stupid. Yes, that like, might be okay, but like that that still would have been I consider like an overreaction. But the fact that she's yeah. basically a walking talking ADHD ad, like go for it. <laughs> Time to take your medicine. <laughs> You aren't talking when you're sleeping. Oh my god, I love when she goes on the rampage at, like, the other high school, because, like, she couldn't get that banana drink. Yes. And, like, the lead boss dude, tr- like, tricks her, and she he punches her, and, and she's... she's just like, she's just like, Akun's punches are uh, like 10 or 100 times stronger than that and, and he's like who's punching you <laughs> like, like the, the first reaction wasn't oh my god i'm in trouble the reaction is who else is punching you that hard <laughs> right because like on t- the fact that she refers to it as akun like that's masculine so it's just like what it's, guy is hitting you? <laughs> well, it's not just masculine, but it's, uh, but it, you can kind of tell it's a nickname, so it's much more personal. Yes, it's, which it's is, a friend. Which which means they're close. Which means what the heck is she doing? Who's punching her? Like, <laughs> I know it's so much implications, and her way of just beating these people is like hitting them while shoving a banana down their throat, essentially suffocating them. Oh. Uh. So, yes, um, hey, I found a decent show. It's a thing. I found, I found a show that you didn't hate. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> it was so dumb. I don't know, I thought mindless comedy was, was due. Oh, it, like, we it's, haven't... Still, it's still fine, like, mindless comedy's still great. And the, be- like, the nice part about the show is that it didn't drag, because it was another series that, it was 12-minute episodes. Yes, it was 12-minute episodes. They Which were... were, it was good, it was well-paced, too. Yes, I that that does matter, because you could see it, if it was longer than that, you could see it dragging, if it was shorter than that, you could see how people would not be able to keep up yes it was a really really good length so anyways i think we've uh, pretty much gushed about this show for a good amount of time i, I picked a good one <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah no, notify the presses oh you know a blind squirrel finds a nut once in a while i can find a nut easy they're attached. Um, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Are we ignoring this and going away now? I'm just gonna start calling you Yoshiko. No, why? I don't want to be associated with that crap. <laughs> 
was fit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I like how you just start apologizing. <laughs> oh my god. Like, that was the worst thing I could have called you. I know! It was so bad! <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Alright, my, my, I got a suggestion for you. Okay. You ready? Let's go. It's a series that I've heard, like, nothing but good things about. It's relatively newer-ish. Um... I think it came out in like 2017 or 18 or something like that. Okay. Um, the Castlevania anime. Uh huh. Okay. Then. I have heard nothing but good things about it. Um, I've never played a Castlevania game, so. They're actually really fun. It's one of those things that like. I'm I'm not a huge fan of of Metroidvania, you know, the back and forth. So, um, if you don't like that, play the originals. Play up to uh, Super Castlevania Four. I'll I'll have to fire up an emulator. So, yeah. thank you guys They're so much for watching. Hard. <laughs> oh, okay. They are hard games. I I figured like those games those games are typically very hard. Yes, anything in the NES era is generally pretty hard. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. If you have other suggestions for shows that we should watch, put them in the comments, because Greg forgets to look for shows. I I, I have what? You forget to look I, for shows. Well, it's not the fact that I forget to look, I just... Or we find shows that are, like, way too goddamn long. A lot of my... So shows that I can give you are really, really long. <laughs> that's that's part of the problem, you know. Like, that's why I can't give you One Piece. I I do think that like adding that that viewer layer cushion would be a good thing, though. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm totally down for suggestions. It's how we got um Stein's Gate. But I still like blaming you for things. So as do I with you. You gonna blame me for not having shows? I got I got a list. Oh no, I just I can just blame you for shit shows. That is true. <laughs> Does that mean I have to give you a turd show next time? No. Oh, just a massive pile. No. Ooh. Why? Who doesn't like a good massive pile? Oh my god. <laughs> Just that the fucking episode. Till next time, guys. Oh my god. Bye. Bye.